Good morning, folks. Two quick items. We can now put the 2014 rapid-fire lows in Europe into perspective. Wettest January for southern England in over 100 years. Meanwhile, across the pond, the cold is the worry. And as we jump into the weather, let's introduce the global forecasting maps by Kyle Griffin at Albany. This is like WoW's expert charts on crack. Starting in the U.S. and watch for the snowstorms in purple coming through the last few days. You'll remember the cold records out east and the heat records out west. Those pressure colors just happen to match the temperature pattern. But look to the Pacific. That high is no longer a high regulator in the equatorial east Pacific region, and the moisture drive at the coastline is breaking. The silver lining is that it breaks across the entire drought zone. You can watch that happen here. And we're back to Europe, watching low after low. Concentricity north of the colors here are the low-pressure cells, which continue taking turns twisting up the northeast Atlantic. Trust me, folks, you'll get the hang of these charts fast, just like you did with the wind patterns to the high versus low pressure. Speaking of which, the pressure overlay reveals the systems are still strong, but definitively weaker than they've been the last few days. Last couple days down under showed the now-gone cyclone in pink shifting from the north down across western Australia and to the east. Last bits in purple coming east further, one to Tasmania and the other part of a low-pressure convergence just west of New Zealand now. It'll be there in a few hours. This was our magnetic shield just before the larger CME impact yesterday. The shocks came in succession as the sun was popping minor for days, but the strongest shock indeed took the proton density more than 10 times average levels or more, but with only a small speed ramp. Either something is wrong with the GOES or our shield is fading faster than we thought because those readings are not indicative of the shot we took. They're borderline blackout worry. For now, we'll go with GOES error as you can hear my voice and KP never got above 5, a minor geomagnetic storm. Now, while the sun sat back to watch his work at Earth, he may be wanting to try it again. We've taken our first M flare in a while this morning, and it did not come from the departing group. At M1, we're not worried even if it's directly Earth facing, but the mere fact that she flared surprised me until, of course, I came in for a closer look to find the lead Umbra taken on a layered bipolar lead bow in front of the active region. That's our top sunspot today. We've got some more coming in. You can see creeping over the limb now. Flares on the other limb remain a polar proton concern. Corona hole up north now. I sat eagerly waiting for the open fields to fully face Earth and, oh, <laughs> snapped shut. Trust me, it's a good thing. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.